Hey, I'm Bradley and I'm currently halfway through a reno and we're standing in the existing kitchen where we've put on a new bench top, a new tiled splash bag. Today, with the help of Monarch, I'm gonna show you how to easily upcycle this existing kitchen cabinetry and make it look fresh and new again. So we're gonna be working with a few simple tools today. First, we're gonna need the Smart Lock Mini Roller because while the coats are drying, you can pop the lid back on and you don't need to wash it out. Then, we're gonna need a molding and skirting brush to get into all of the deep little corners that we need to in this kitchen. Well, I've moved outside, I've taken all the kitchen cupboards with me. Now it's time to sand them back so they're roughed up and ready to be primed. Okay, so I've sanded down every kitchen cupboard and I did forget to mention that I have put no more gaps into the existing cupboard holes because we wanna make sure no matter what size handle we put on there, there's not gonna be any random gaps around. All right, well that's the kitchen handles on. And now, with a new splash bag, bench top, a lick of paint, it's a completely different kitchen. And the best part is it's all done for under a thousand bucks. I'm still on the reno site, but we found this guy on the side of the road. Someone was throwing it out. So we thought, what better way to upcycle than use it in our bathroom reno. Well, that saying was definitely on there to last a lifetime. But it's all prepped now, ready to go. And the next step is to put the varnish on. Well, after three coats of stain, a top coat of clear varnish, an extra addition of black paint detailing in the handles, the only thing left to do is see it in the space. I'm going to show you how to easily upcycle this dining table and chairs that we got on Facebook Marketplace for 70 bucks. If you're anything like me, you love to create a champagne taste on a beer budget. So with the help of Mona, I'm going to show you how to do it. And today, we're just using the rat tail brush, which is going to be great to get into all of the little nooks and crannies. And don't forget, before we start, 15 minutes in the jar. Well, 15 minutes. Old flick of the wrist. Make sure no one's standing in the way. And now, it's time to paint. All right, well, that's the first coat done on the table. Now, I've just got to do the chairs, let them sit for two hours, do a second coat, and then we get to see them in the space. Well, there you have it. After a simple coat of paint onto the chairs and the base of the dining table, it's completely transformed and ties in perfectly with the light above it. So there's only one thing left to do, pour a wine and enjoy the space. Cheers. <laughs>